Hello, my name is Kiara Colton, and today I will be presenting to you one of the qualities that John Maxwell wrote in his book, um, The 21 Decisible Qualities of a Leader. The, the quality that I chose was courage. By a show of hands, how many people have heard of the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? Okay, I figure a few of you would have heard of him. When you hear his name, what type of quality what type of quality do you think he had? When I hear Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. name, the leadership quality that comes to mind is courage. Dr. King was a humble man that fought for African Americans to have equal rights in a nonviolent approach. In my opinion, Dr. King was a courageous man because he stood up for what he believed. Courage is the quality of a mind or spirit that enables a person to face difficult, danger, pain without fear or bravery. Charles said it best, Courage is not limited to the battlefield of the Indianapolis 500 or barely catching a steep in your house. The real tests of courage are much quieter. They are the inner tests like remaining faithful when nobody's looking. Like enduring pain when the room is empty. Like standing alone when you're misunderstood. Nothing hinders a person more than having the fear of the unknown. Many times we won't take that new job because we think we're not qualified. Or we may fear what our other co-workers may say about us. Often we are our own worst critic. Courage is, courage is at the very essential of being real and gaining trust in you where you can take the organization. Courage is a vitally important to be able to achieve short-term and long-term goals of the organization. Example of being courage. I'm going to just give you a good short, give you a short story of when I first started at the Department of Family and Children's Services. When I first started at the Department of Family and Children's Services, also named as DFAT, I had I heard many horror stories about how bad clients treated the workers. I remember driving to orientation, asking myself, this really the job for me? Because I do not handle confrontation well. So when I'm walking into the building, I instantly become scared and nervous. I even thought about turning around. When I sat in the room to attend the orientation, I thought about the Bible verse. I walk by faith and not by sight. That's when it came to me. Kiara, you have the ability to do anything in life you need. All you need is a little faith like a mustard seed and a little courage. At that moment, I trusted myself to be the best leader defense ever came across. I let go of my fears to become to begin a new career. As I said earlier, sometimes we are our biggest critics. We miss out on opportunities because we don't have the courage to take on new adventures. On a daily basis, I demonstrate courage by volunteering at my church to teach Sunday school every Sunday. I also teach vacation Bible school in the summer. I stand up for co-workers when I when they are I stand up to co-workers when they are treating clients unfairly. I'm learning to face my fears. In conclusion, if you want to be a leader, you must be willing to stand for something. A leader that demonstrates courage must go out on a limb and profess and practice your belief in someone. Something or some something or some cause. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that, is, that counts.